do a conversation test uh, during the lesson. So I check you by one by one by one, and at the end, when you come back for me, there is no one studied, and which which hurt me. It's okay, Jawad. We didn't do anything. We still figure out which Zoom we have to figure uh, to sign in. Let me stop recording and figure out how we will manage our things, and we will do it again. We are going to talk today about acid and bases. Just the introduction of acid and bases. What we are going to discuss today. We are have to study what is the meaning of acid and basing with respect to three scientists. Oh. For one, for the first one. Arinias. I don't know if that dictation is correct. The second one that we have to study it, Bronsted, Lori. And the last one is Lewis. I said this. Okay. Any one of these you heard about it before? Yes. Any name is familiar for you? Yes. What? Which one? The Lewis. Yeah, the Lewis. Subhanallah, the Lewis even, it's very easy and we will not go into details because it uh, depends on the structural formula. Just who's the... I'm not sure. Okay. Let's just start with Arrhenius. What Arrhenius say? How he defines solution? There is an. How he defined the acid and base. Arrhenius says that when any compound give H plus release H plus, so this is an acid. Any compound is the easy one going. He says, if they release any compound, any compound, release H plus, it's an acid. And this is what we know about the acid. This is the definitions that we know about acid. And he say, if it release, O H minus, so it appears. Okay, and example of it HCl, H and O three. It's an acid. If so, example, HCl, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, any compound that has H and release H plus, so this is an acid. But he said also that H plus cannot stay like this in the solution. Okay, when releasing of H plus, it will not stay in this form H plus because H plus will react with water or will combine with water to give us what? Look at it. Simply just combine it. This is H and this is H2. So it will be H3. O and here plus, it will be plus. And even without the plus, this is, you know, that this is extra we, because we know water is already satisfied, doesn't know any other atom. So when we added for it more atoms, this is mean she has extra. 
plus mean it has extra. Okay? Is it clear or not? While any compound that releasing OH my, it's a base. That's just what Arrhenius said. Is it clear? Is any question regarding Arrhenius? But I want you to know, if we said H plus or H3O plus, it's still the same. What is H3 plus, uh, H3O plus? This is mean it's acid. Okay, so if anyone said for you H3O plus, what is this is mean? This is mean the acidity. You can, this is the symbol of acidity. Either this or H plus. Anyone with respect to Arrhenius is a symbol of the presence of acidity. But for OH minus, it's just OH minus and it's okay. Page number two. Pronounced. This is one. Please focus about it because we will bring question in the test regarding Brunsted lorry. This is we have a question regarding it, and regarding Arrhenius is just the definition. We will ask only about the definitions. Okay, so to be, to let things clear, so I will tell you. I always say what the questions and how they are asking. Okay, so how things are going regarding the Brunsted lorry? Brunsted lorry, we can just give it the symbol BL, Brunsted lorry. If we are talking about the acid, Brunsted lorry acid, if we are talking about the acid, for example, Arrhenius, when we talked about the acid, we said the presence of H+. For Arrhenius, acid means the presence of H+. Okay, so that one, Arrhenius. Acid, the meaning of acid. Presence of H+. Or H3. O plus. What is the meaning of base for Arrhenius? Presence of OH minus. This is you, you have to know. For Brunsted lorry definitions, acid mean, okay, what is the acid mean? H plus donor. This is mean H plus donor. There is H plus in the medium, but they donate. The H plus will donate. The H plus will act as a donor. Okay, so it's a proton donor. It's H plus donor. The acid should give. We know that the acid will release in the sol uh, in the solution uh, H plus. So this one. For pronounced lorry, it will mean H plus is donor. They will donor, donate H plus. For BL, pronounced lorry base. Okay, what do you think? If someone donate, what will happen? What we will find in our life? If somebody donate something, okay, we should find an uh, acceptor. If there is a donor, this is mean there is an acceptor. Because how he will be a, don a donor if nobody will take what he gave, for example, in our normal life. And here, regarding the acid and base relations, if the acid will donate a chip loss and no one will accept it, this is the, not a donation. This is just releasing in the medium. But if the acid release H plus and somebody take it, this is mean the acid donate H plus. Okay, here it's mean H plus donate donor or donations, and here H plus acceptor. This is the donor donor and this is the acceptor. Okay, for sure, who will be the donor? The one that has the H plus. 
which one that has the H plus the acid? H plus donor. Is it clear till now? If there is any question, please ask me. How we will identify what is the meaning of donor and acceptor in, uh, in any equation? If I have, for example, HF, which is a weak acid, plus because our lesson is about equilibrium, so we care about the weak acids more, plus water. What Arrhenia said, this is will donate. Do you know? Ronistit said this one will donate. This is acid. Okay? It will donate hydrogen. Okay? The one that will accept this hydrogen is the base. Because we said the base will accept the hydrogen. So I have, I still, till now, I don't know which one is the acceptor. But this is one I know it's the donor because it has H. Okay? And releasing of the H in the solution, it means she is going to give. If somebody, if a solution, not somebody, if any compound accepted this H plus, so this, the one, the compound that accepted the H plus is a base. Do you still remember what Arrhenia said? Arrhenia said that H plus cannot stay by its alone. Cannot stay. And if Brunisted Lori say the same, this is will give H plus, but H plus will not stay by its alone, according to Arrhenius. Arrhenius said when H plus released, it will find a water molecule. Okay. If it, if they didn't find any other solution to react with, we'll find the water itself and and react with it. It will be H three O plus. So here, this is water. Do you see? This is water. And this is H plus. What will happen? The H plus will react with the water. What will happen to the HF after it releases the hydrogen? How it will look like after releasing the hydrogen? How it will look like the HF after releasing hydrogen to the solution? And the water accepted it. It will be alone. It will be alone. And how it will look like? Just the F. F minus. Only F. So let's now figure out what Brunisted Lori want to say. Brunisted Lori said, if we have acid released hydrogen, okay, we will call it, this is, will be our acid and it will be a donor. If we, there is any solution who accepted or any compound who accepted this gift, it will be the acid. Who accepted this H plus? Who accepted this H plus? We have only water here in this uh, equation. So the water accepted it or didn't accept it? Yes, sir. Does water accept the H plus? Yes, sir. Jawad? I think I, uh, I will start to ask for opening the camera. I think I will start doing this. I want to everyone to feel comfortable because of this, I don't ask to op you to open the camera. But it's not work like this. Reem, I am talking by myself. Yusuf, Matab. Uh, yes, miss. I think the water will accept the hydrogen. I'm not sure, though. Yeah. You are not sure, or sure from what? I think the water will accept the hydrogen ion. Matab, why you will think she accepted it? Look at her. 
Because you in, when when you did HF, the water accepted the hydrogen. You already accepted. I completed. Oh, I, oh, you want to do it again? No, just I am trying to say that this is a base. I want to say this is a base, but I cannot say it. I have to ask you guys why I am calling it a base. According to Brunisted Lori. It's a base because it's an hydrogen acceptor. Because it's accept the hydrogen. So this is acid because it donates H. And this is a base because according to Brunisted Lori, it's a hydrogen acceptor. Okay, this is one we call it the one who accept the hydrogen gift. So we call it conjugate acid. Conjugate acid. Accept the gift from the acid. Think about it like this. Conjugate acid because of one, this one that joined the hydrogen plus and uh, for another compound. So this is conjugate acid. What about this? This is the one who gave the H plus. This is one after she giving, she is the conjugate base because it's the one who give the hydrogen plus to the base. Because of this, we call it conjugate base. Is it clear or not? First of all, how things are going. We will give you only this first two. Most of the times it's an equation you have. We will ask you which one is the acid. You have to know which one is the acid. Which one is the base? This is, is the base. Which one is the hydrogen acceptor? Water is the hydrogen acceptor. Which one is the conjugate acid? The one that accepts the gift and it's a new form. So this is the conjugate accept, uh, conjugate acid. Which one that gave the base, already gave the hydrogen to the base? This is the one, the conjugate base. And this is the don donate H plus, okay? What do we mean by conjugate base? This is mean it gave hydrogen to the base. And this is mean, it got hydrogen from the acid. Think about it this way. We will get an example. Always, always, the conjugate acid has one hydrogen more. The conjugate base has less, one hydrogen less. Base number three. Let me give you another example. It's not clear here. This is what will help us more to understand which one is the conjugate acid, which one is the conjugate base. This is carbonate, as you see, and this is water. Suppose that I don't know which one is the acid and which one is the base. Okay? How things are going. Look at it. Do you think uh, which one is the acid, which one is the base? Don't tell me that this is bicarbonate. I know it comes from the carbon bicarbonate. And when it was bicarbonate, it was the acid. Forget about this. Look at it. Oh, sorry. So it's not the carbonate? No, no, no. We have to choose. We have to choose, but we have to think first of why. Okay. First of all, the one that we will call acid should give H plus, is able to give. So the water is acidic and the CO3 is basic. Okay. Who agree with Matab? And you have to tell me the reason. I tell you the reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, oh, want, because... I don't want to say right or, uh, or not. I want okay. to get somebody else. Two, three. Oh, someone else. Okay. Yeah. Already I heard you, Matab. I, and I understood you. Who can tell me which one is the acid and which one is the base? Look here. If you don't have money, you cannot give. You will never be donor. You have to have to give. 
okay? And we know the donor here should have H. Which one can give us H here? Look at them, Lorraine. The H2. You said the reason. Because this is uh, CO3 and then it's H2 minus, so how it can't give anything each step. Okay. So water here play two roles. We cannot depend on the question before to say that water is a base. Water can be acid and can be base. Be careful. Okay? Water can change. Subhanallah, she's the universal uh, so, uh, solvent and even she is a base with the acid and acts as an acid with the base. So it's sometimes acid and sometimes acts as a base. Okay? Type. Okay, that's right. What Yasser and Mata, what Yusuf and Matab said, it's correct totally. And because this is carbonate, as I see, doesn't have anything to give. How will it give? So it's not the acid, it's my base. So it's easy to figure out. It's just I have to think and to analyze things and things will be okay. And this is will be my base. You said it will be, let me delete this. You said it will lose one H plus because it's gonna donate, okay? It will be donor here. So it will give H plus. When it lose uh, the hydrogen, how it will look like? Oh, H minus. Oh, H minus, correct. Okay. And the other one, this is lost one hydrogen. And this is what will happen for her. Jawad, as your math test still didn't finish, yeah, Jawad? Long time we didn't hear from you. Okay, this is lost one hydrogen. And what about the carbonate? Hello? Anyone? Safa? Anyone. Safa? Would it be the carbon on that side? What? What? I didn't hear you. The carbon? What What will happen for it? Um, it loses the oxygen. Why will lose the oxygen? Uh, I'm not sure. What is the subject talking about, Safa? About acid and base. Yeah. About not, not, it's donations of acid. We are collecting at Okay. That's the, we don't need people to give us uh, food, for example. We need just money. Okay. And here just, it's releasing of H plus. Donations of H plus. Okay. And here, the others, if she released H plus, it give H plus. So the other compound should be HCO3. HCO3. Okay. HCO3. HCO3. Two minus? No. Two minus? What will be? B minus. Minus one. Yeah. Because we it gained hydrogen is a plus. So the positive that we added cancel. So, so then we have a conjugate base is OH minus and the conjugate acid is HCO3 minus. Which one is the conjugate base? Uh, OH minus. OH minus. This is conjugate base. Uh, why? Why? We call it conjugate base because it's the one who donate. Donate. For the base, you can memorize it this way. Donate for the base. I, I look how uh, what big mistake I did. Did you see my mistake? Who can correct for me my mistake, please? 
Um, the H two O has to be acid instead. Yes. Of yes. Thank you so much. Do you see? The water do need H plus to the base. So is the conjugate base. You need the one that save the base and give her the H plus. This one, the one that got accept the donations. So this is conjugate acid. She accept the donation from the acid. Because of this, we call it conjugate acid. Okay. So she accept the hydrogen from the acid. Okay. So it's easy to figure it out. And even though if this is acid, look here. If this is acid, this is will be based opposite to it, directly opposite to it. But we will not write it by just base. We will write conjugate base. This is the base. So the one that will be, it will be acid, conjugate acid. Memorize it the way that you like. But I prefer to understand it so you can answer the questions. Okay. Let's figure out if he ask us about just one compound and he said how water will be conjugate acid and conjugate base. Same compound, it may be work as acid or as base. Look at this, water. If water is acid, if water is acid, okay, the conjugate acid, how it will look, if he is acid, water is acid, we will have conjugate base. Okay. What will be the conjugate base of the acid? Acid, this is mean will lose one one hydrogen. Acid will lose one hydrogen. Okay. What, how it will look like? It will be O H minus. Is this correct or not? When water acts as an acid, it will give me one H plus less. It will give me a compound with one H plus less. And it this compound will be the conjugate base. If water act as a base, students, if you didn't focus with me, I can guarantee for you, you cannot understand the lesson by yourself by looking just. If I am come to read this, I will not understand it. Just I came, somebody gave it to me and said, for me, it's easy. Uh, just to try to figure it out, I cannot. I said, well, what is acid base? What is the meaning of it? But if you are with me and you're understanding what I am saying, because I am explaining it here, this is water, this is base. This is mean it will accept. If it will base, this is mean it will accept hydrogen from the medium. So it will be hyd one hydrogen more, one hydrogen more. And this is what we call it conjugate acid because the one who got the gift. Okay, is it clear or not? Yes. Is it clear? I will give you example and you have to figure out it. Who can tell me if we have, for example, phosphate, phosphoric acid, HbO4 2 minus, because H3, because it's originally H3BO4. This is the original equation of the original compound. Okay, because I want to add hydrogen, so it's okay here. Okay, suppose even it's H2. I don't mind. If I write here H2, what I have to change up? I have to put it minus only. Because it's missing only one hydrogen. Okay. If this is work as acid, let me change the color. If this is work as acid, we said 
even there is H2, maybe acid, maybe base. If this work as an acid, what will happen? We'll lose or gain hydrogen. We'll lose or gain hydrogen. Hello, it will lose. If it's acid, it will do donate hydrogen. The acid, the definition of the acid say donation of hydrogen. So it will lose one hydrogen. And it will be H1 B O four minus two. Is it correct or not? And we will call it conjugate. Look here. Not this one. Look at it. The one that lost, if it's acid, it will be base, conjugate base. If it's base, it will be simply conjugate acid. Just memorize it. Here it's acid. What will be this? Conjugate base. Conjugate big because it donate the hydrogen for a base. In the solution should be another base that accept this hydrogen. Okay. And if it work as this. And if this is base, what will happen? It will accept from the solution H plus. It will be H3 B O4. And if this base, this is will be conjugate acid because it's the one who accept the donation. Okay. I will give you example. Ammonia with water. Think about this one. And H3 plus water. Okay. When we have, okay. How it will work? Think about it. Let me make it more easy for you. Okay. How it will work, this one? Which one will be my asset? Water will act as an acid if there is no another hydrogen to be donated. Here, this is will donate the hydrogen. This is, is ready to donate hydrogen. So water will act as a base here. And this is will be my acid. This is will lose one hydrogen. It will be how look like an H2. Okay. And because it lost minus. And water will be. H3 O plus and look at it this is O H minus this is the base do you see minus and this is H plus because the H always positive this is acid so what will be here she is the one who gave hydrogen so it will be the conjugate base. It will be the one who donate hydrogen to the base. And this one is the one that who accept the hydrogen from the base. Look here. If you want to memorize it in this funny way or this way only. Do you see this letter here? A. This is means she accept. 
okay? If you know the, the one who accept, this is conjugate asset from the letter A. So think about it is as acceptor, okay? So this is the conjugate asset because students keep mixing how we to figure out the conjugate asset, how to figure out the conjugate base. According to the chemistry, conjugate acid is the one who accept one hydrogen more. But for you, it's okay. It's a start with A. This is the acceptors. So because of this, I will call it conjugate acid. And so for sure, the second will be the conjugate base. Okay? What if we didn't say for you anything and you, we just gave you equation? How you will figure it out? Okay? How you will know which one? Okay, what if the opposite happened? I will do it the opposite way. Here that this is base and this is acid. You have to, they either will sell, tell you which one is the acid or base or will write for you simply the equation and you have to figure out. Here I will not say anything. I will write only the equation and will ask you which one is the acid, which one is the base, which one is the conjugate acid, which one is the conjugate base. Okay. Can you tell me? Which one is the asset? Here, you cannot know. You cannot guess. Go from the product and know. What happened to this? What happened to this one? Gained. Gained one H. So what? What we call a hair? A conjugate acid. Very good. And then the other one is conjugate base because it donated an H. If this one accept, this is mean her mom is not the donor. The donor. Is this right? Is this mean this is donor? No, because see, she the one the who accept. So which one is the acid and base here? This is lost one hydrogen. So her mom is the donor. Yeah, is the acid. Very good, yeah, Yusuf, very good. Well, yeah, Yusuf, you don't need to get to make a test to figure out if you understand or not. This is the base. Okay. This is my last question. I will not ask anymore. Uh, I have to go to Lewis, base acid, the last one to explain it. And uh, that's all. Not that's all. I have to go to the second because we are not studying. You are not helping me. So I feel really... I have to stay every time till you understand. I took my decisions. No, I will give my lesson. You understood. You studied. You didn't study. This is your problem. Lewis, yes, I said. I am going so slowly. Lewis, yes, I said. I know from the Lewis and this. Do you know? If you remember that we have, for example, uh, any compound. Uh, ammonia. This is this is mostly they explain. This is a one day explain it. It has lone pair because it has five. If you remember, nitrogen has uh, five uh, valence electrons. So this is lone pair. And we have boron. Boron has only three. So it with hydrogen. This is Lewis dot base. How he defined the acid and base, we will see. This is has nothing to donate because it have to donate here according to Lewis. Look at Lewis what he said. 
Lewis asset, Lewis asset. This is Lewis asset. So the asset according to Lewis, or let me write it by the high, or, or you will, uh, as they, they make it Lewis asset, you will have to be careful. Lewis asset, and we make it Lewis asset, is electron, electron acceptor here. And this here will not donate. He said it's enough for me. I donated a lot in the Brunested law. Here they accept. They donate H plus, but they accept electrons. Lewis space. Lewis space. They are electron donor. To memorize it always, the one, the acid donate H plus, donate ions, but accept electrons. Okay? According to Lewis or Brunusted all. So we understood that. I am I open page just six to make it things just clear. All these scientists said acid. This is what I understood, asset, for all the three scientists. The first one, he said, it releases H plus. Releases H plus. Releasing of H plus. The other said, it's donate. Donate. H plus. The third said, it accept. electrons accept electrons here this is a hydrogen is ion so it donate ion and accept electron is it okay donate ion and accept electrons acid releasing hydrogen it donate ions it accept electrons this according to Arrhenius it what? Releasing what? Releasing or H minus. And here when we say H plus with uh, Arrhenius, he doesn't accept. He said, no, no, I didn't say H plus. I, because H plus is unstable. H plus will refuse to stay like this. It reacts with water to give me H3 O plus. So this is releasing or H minus. It H plus accepting acceptor and electron donor. Okay, acceptor lal ions or donor lal electrons. Is it easy or not? Is this helpful or not? So this is the summary. But if you are not listening to me step by step, you will be lost because I say some sentences that you need to write it. You have, and from the first period I said, please keep writing notes or you are gonna lose. Okay, so we'll return back to hydrogen. Oh, what I did. I closed the page, sorry. Where is my whiteboard? I don't need my own in me. Oh. It will not give me the same one. It, I lost it. Just a minute.
Sorry, I lost it because uh, when I was working upon the whiteboard, I didn't sign uh, to my Google. I don't know if it's saved in another place. You get the information or you didn't get. Anyone need anything from there? So we, I was explaining Lewis, that's, and I said everything, and just want to show you the last things in it. V, H, H, and H. And here I said that we have nitrogen. Which one have electron to donate? Which one has electron to donate here? The nitrogen? Yeah, very good. The nitrogen will donate the electron for this one. So this is electron donor. And this is electron acceptor. The one who accept is the acid or the base? Who accept the electrons is the acid or the base? Is the acid. Because it's electron acceptor. This is base. Because it's electron donor. Okay, we have 30 minutes. I want to start to uh, calculate the value of pH and pOH. Are you ready? Or you want to get seven minutes to finalize this? Who is here? I see you all, but who is here in reality? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Here. Did you understand the lesson? If I did a group quiz, can all of you answer? Yes. Can I move to the second part? Yes. Thank you. Please study this. We have lesson on, uh, inshallah, next time when we have the lesson. First thing I have to do it, uh, I have to do quiz. Inshallah, the quiz that you did uh, for Lashatir's today, uh, tonight I will do my best to uh, finish it because it was very easy, the correction. It's just the correct answer. So it will not take from me a time. Inshallah, but what I have difficulty is downloading and uploading. But uh, Mr. Hussain did something for us on the system. And I I figure out, oh, let me try. Can you type Reem? Anyone try? Because I, uh, I don't ask anyone of you to write today or do anything because you said you cannot. No one of you, yes? On the whiteboard? Can you, yeah, on the whiteboard, can you write? No, I can't. Oh, I can't either. Okay, so still the problem. Okay, let's go to the second part, inshallah. So, remember that H and H3O plus, this is hydrogen, mean the acid. Mean we are testing that. According to the earlier classes, you studied that acid, if the solution we tested, okay, and found its uh, acidity from zero to seven, this is mean it's acid, less than seven, okay, it's acid. Seven is a neutral, exactly seven is a neutral. And more than seven to 14, it's base. Okay. Do you know this or not? Because you you have to give an answer and say at the end from the calculation, is it acid or base? Because you during your calculation, when you will find the answer is six, uh, five point three. So it's acid or base. No, if the pH is this, uh, there's uh, three point five. So this is mean acid, and you have to know. As the acidity, as it's one or two, it's more acidic than when it's six. 
okay because when it's six is more nearer to the neutral and here which is more base when it is eight or when it is 13 which one is more base Rim. Which one is more base rim? Solution that has base system, B, H, 8 or 13? Sorry, did you say Lorene or rim? Rim. Can you just say the question again? Which one has more acidity? Base system. Which one is more basic? The solution is more basic if we have it 8 or 13. 13. Why? Because it's like to the end, no? Yeah, because as it's nearer to the neutral, so it will be less, okay? as it's farther away from the neutral area so it's more basic or more acidic okay what are the equations that we need to uh, know about them today we have to know that if we want to find the pH the equation is saying pH power of hydrogen pH is not the penthouse is power of hydrogen equal minus log H plus. Do you know how to find the log or you still didn't study it in math? Do you know how to calculate it? Yes. So you know. Okay, that's good. Simply, simply he will give you, he will say um, hydrogen ion concentration. Look, this is when we have this H plus, this is mean concentration. Concentration of H plus is equal to 3.4 times 10 to power minus 4. Be careful. This is not BH. This is the concentration of hydrogen. If the concentration of hydrogen is 3.4 times 10 to the power minus 4, find the BH. And tell me if it's weak or strong acid. Find the BH. What I will do? This is the concentration. He said the concentration. And I know this value is the concentration. So I will say BH equal minus log. Please find the value. Just simply like this. 3.4 times 10 to the power minus 4. Do you know how to calculate it? You have to find for me value BH. The answer, if I, if I am correct, because I didn't uh, make my calculation before I give. If it give you 17, if you give something else, this is mean I gave wrong uh, concentration. My answer should be where located. Who is very smart to tell me? My answer should be how much? Ten to the power of uh, three point four times ten. Eight point four. Eight point four times ten. Times ten to the power minus one or what? No, no, not. Like uh, 10 to the power of? Yeah. And then 10 to the power of the concentration of uh, hydrogen. Oh, oh, yeah, you are making the log. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making it to an, uh, an exponent. Yeah, it's yeah. the log, you are applying this log A, B, to the power a equals c so are you saying that's just a to the power high no directly you cannot find it in the by using the calculator i got 3.4 how much okay you want 
Okay, that's correct what Yusuf said. Okay, this is you have to just to say say to the power minus a, and that's okay. But I don't need the calculation. I don't care about the math section here. Okay, just I need oh, the okay. answer. Okay, this is good. This is good. But I need just and if I, it's if it's a math class, we want to see how you did it. But in chemistry, we just we need the final answer. And thank you. Is my answer correct? Tell me. One, one, three. Is my answer correct? Is it reasonable? Yeah. Yeah, because it's in the range. What is my range? Who can tell me again? What is my range? Yusuf said it a few minutes Zero ago. Zero to seven. Oh, Yusuf. I need somebody else in this class. What is my Does anything under a seven is acidic? Okay, but it's my answer. Should be less than seven? No. Okay. The range is for me from zero to 14. Okay. The power of hydrogens doesn't mean that it's because it's H, it's mean just acidity. Okay. Because this is from zero to 14 is the power of hydrogen. If it's less than seven, it's mean acid. If the power of hydrogen, if the power of hydrogen more than seven, it's base. Can you understand? This is the scale of the power of hydrogen only. This is the scale for the power of hydrogen. So the power of hydrogen, if less than seven, it's acid. If it's more than seven, it's base. So my answer should be in this range from zero to 14. I told you if my answer is 15, this is mean my calculation is wrong. So this is the concentration that I gave. The calculation that I did is wrong, okay? Because uh, usually we have to give you it's in this range. Because at the end, I will ask you now, look at what I will ask you. Is this, if uh, is the solution acidic or base? It doesn't mean because you are finding the BH that you are, that, that the solution is acid, no. Okay, this is will show me if it's acid or base. So is my solution acid or base? Is my solution acid or base? Acid. Acid. Okay, let's do another one. What if I did calculation and my BH, this is was the answer. My BH is 8.5. And the next question, is my solution, is the solution that we have acid or base? Is it acid or base? Base. Yusuf, are you sick? Uh, no. No, just the mic, okay? It's uh, base. Is it acid or base? Base. So it's base. Why more than seven? The answer is more than seven, it's base. Greater than seven. Okay. So now, concentration given, concentration of OH minus. Concentration of OH minus equal uh, 4.7 times 10 to power minus 3. And he asked me, find BH. Oh, it's so complicated. Can I find the BH? Yeah. How? POH equals uh, minus log uh, concentration of OH minus. And then when you get that, the sum of POH and pH is 14. So then you can find pH by doing uh, 14 minus POH. Yusuf, are you studying uh, by yourself every day or 
you are going to the school and study? Uh, I study. By yourself? Yeah. MashaAllah. We cannot find it directly because we know that the BH equal minus log H plus. So I, there is no relation between OH minus and BH. But I know how to find, for example, BOH. Okay, it equal minus log for OH minus. Okay. But there is also a relation. If I know the BOH minus, if I found this one, I can say BOH. Okay, how we can find it? BOH. H plus pH equals 14. Why? The total um, pH, their total levels are going to equal 14. Yeah, because it's from 0 to 14. Zero this to is 14. 7. This is the maximum. It will be 7. This is 7. And this will be the total 14. So if I know the BOH, I can simply find the BH. Let's see if we can make it. And there is another way also directly to find the H plus from the OH minus and apply it. There are two ways. We will do the two ways. Or it's enough for us today, this one, to focus on three equations. And tomorrow I will add the fourth equation, okay, which is H plus times OH minus equal 10 to the power minus 14. We have four equations to find the BH and BOH. And to answer these questions, is our solution acid or base? Okay? So here, I have to find the BOH. Which one I have to use? Look here. You have to decide which equation you have to use. I have the concentration of OH minus. Well, he, he wants from me the BH. It's okay. He wants the BH, but I don't have any given for the BH. I have the OH minus, and I know that I can find the BOH minus. Okay, I will. Minus log. And the OH minus, the concentration for the OH minus, it's concentration wrong the way I wrote it. Without these brackets, it's wrong. Because it's minus log, the concentration of OH minus. Minus log the concentration, which is 4.7 times 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So how much is the BH, the BOH, sorry, uh, Matab, our accountant here, our helper. Matab, yeah. yeah. Just give me one second. I'm, I'm putting it in the calculator. Yeah, processing it. <laughs> in what process the output 2.3 2.3 is there any number uh 2.3279 no no it's okay that's 2.3 we don't need okay when i see it's the b o h minus 2.3 it's base no, 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 you cannot answer. Or you will say, no, it's under seven, so it's acid. No, you cannot know. What we said, we have to find the BH to know. Okay? So we will find now the BH. What the B, how to find the BH? BOH plus BH equal 14. Okay, BOH, BH equal 14 minus BOH. Do you know how I get it? Hello, do you know how I get it? Just subtract BOH from both sides. No, Yusuf, many students doesn't know. They feel confused and minus 2.3. How much it will be? It will be 11.7 or I'm wrong? 
Okay, now tell me, is our solution acid or base? Space. Yes. If you answered me here, no, this is wrong. The answer should, came, should come from the BH. My solution is base. Miss, so we so after we get the POH, we always subtract it from 14 if it's base, if it's a base. If he asks me, is it acid or base? Okay. Sometimes he will not ask me to find the BH. But he will ask me, find the BOH. And then he will ask me, is it acid or base? So I have to find the BH to decide. Okay. okay. My solution is base. But here, look at our question. He gave me concentration of OH minus, but he asked me find the BH. He didn't ask me about the BOH. I found the BOH to find the BH. Okay, is it clear? It's easy, easy, easy lesson, direct application. Just put, before you start, before you start, write the four equation in the front of you. Okay? And when you write these equations, then things will be very easy. Okay? I will give the, I cannot give any final. I have to prepare for the second meeting. Okay, is it clear? I will uh, post the uh, YouTube, uh, a YouTube uh, regarding uh, the conjugate acid and conjugate base. I will post regarding the finding the pH and BOH, and you will find also the 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 part that I didn't explain it. It's okay if you get it from the video. It's okay if you didn't get it. We will make a rapid review for thirty minutes when you come next time. And I will make a quiz for 30 minutes before I explain something in you. Okay? And I think you should review everything. Because I will focus on this and will make tests by everything till now in the equilibrium before we start to be feel more and more confused. Okay? It will be small test, but we'll cover everything. It will be written mostly by my hand because I will I don't want I want it's cover just the points that I teach. Okay. Okay. Much for your attendance, students, especially those who are with us. I really, really upset from the situation. Have a good night. Thank you, Yusuf. Thank you, Mata. Thank you all. I don't want anyone uh, to be absent. Thank you, Reem. And Safat uh, today was active also. Abbas, I didn't hear from you today. Okay, have a good night. Bye, Miss. Have a good night. Bye. Yeah. Have a great rest of your weekend. You can I'll, I'll take a, a, a few minutes and a pass and come back, okay?